Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Watch Torah Examination. My name is Winston and I've never been a Jehovah's Witness. When I did the video talking about the upcoming convention that the Watch Torah is promoting, I showed different clips from the organization highlighting different aspects about why their good news is actually no good news. When I got to the to making the point that these people actually have the so-called other sheep singing the praises of the anointed, I was reluctant to include the song a special position. And I'll tell you why. There is something about that song that every time I hear it, it keeps ringing in my head for more than 48 hours and I can't get it out of my head. No, it is normal, a very common thing, that if you are singing a song, the song will keep playing in your head for a while. But I'm not just talking about for a while. Let me explain to you how bad this is. The song has been playing in my head for the entire day and I can't get it out. What I would do is that I start, I start singing another song. And after a while, that other song is in my head, then it disappears and the special possession start playing in my head again. It is so hard that and so much so that I did not want to include it in the clip because this is not the first time it is happening to me. You keep the thing, uh, there's a line in the song that just faithful to their commission, they gather the other sheep. To the lamb they are loyal, his commandments they keep. The words stick in my head. Why am I mentioning all of this to you? Because I do not believe that it is just coincidence. There is something about the music that I believe is hypnotic. Am I the only one who's experienced it? If you have, share it in the comments. Because this is not what this is not all I'm going to be talking to you about. The topic of this video is there's something sinister and queer about the Watchtower organization. I have two other things to mention to you that came out quite recently. But when you think, there, there, there is something that we have inside of us that's called a conscience. And I would like to think that when the people who are on that choir are singing that song, that something would somehow click that something is wrong here. Because the normal thing when you are singing a hymn is that the hymn is praising God. Has it not dawned on them that they are actively singing praises to the governing body and the anointed? And I even believe that somewhere in the back of their heads, they're not even so much thinking about all the anointed in the organization, but the governing body. Because I, when they're saying faithful to your commission, they gather the other sheep. Do they really see all the anointed, the little one, the little one member in maybe every five congregation as actively involved in gathering the other sheep? Or do, that, do they see that as something that the governing body is doing? Is it all the anointed they have in their mind? When they are singing this song, a special possession, there are people for your name. If you are singing a song and you're saying, if you're singing a hymn, not just a song, not just a song. If you are singing a hymn that is used in worship and you're saying they love you, shouldn't that say something strange to you? Because normally it would be we love you. I love you. They love you. You are going to God to tell God that those people love you. What about you? 
a special possession. Anyhow, I don't even need to get into the lyrics of the song. But I do believe it would appear to me that the music is deliberately hypnotic. Because I can't find what is it about this song that makes it harder to come out of my mind than other songs. What is it about this song? I am one who I hate this religion. And I need, and I need to clarify that very quickly. Do not ever mistake that with my saying that I hate Jehovah's Witnesses. I do not. I, I actually do love Jehovah's Witnesses. It is out of my love for Jehovah's Witnesses why I do this work. Because it, it breaks my heart to see a people who want to be in the truth. That is, that is what you can basically say of each Jehovah's Witness. They chose the watchtower religion because they do not just want to belong to any church. They want to belong in what they consider to be true religion. So here are people who want to serve God aright, who are being deceived. And that is what breaks my heart because I believe that they are decent people who are looking to do right with God. So I love Jehovah's Witnesses. Not even the governing body do I hate. I, as, as much as I hate what they do, I can see myself. If you ask me who is the most obnoxious or who was the most obnoxious member of the governing body, I would tell you Anthony Morris. But I could sit with Anthony Morris around a lunch table and have a conversation with him about his life. And you know, I'd like to prick his brain about things. I do not hate him. I find Stephen Lett to be a little repulsive. I do not hate him. As a matter of fact, I think it would be rather interesting to be able to have a chat with him as well. I would love to sit down and talk with David Spade. I can see myself sitting down with these men. I'd love to have a chat with one of the youngest ones, what's his name? Jeffrey Winder. I'd like to find out why, if he really, really sincerely believes in his heart, that he is part of the faithful and discreet slave appointed by Jesus. It's, it's just so weird. I, anyhow, I've digressed. I want to make the point that I do not hate Jehovah's Witnesses. I, I do love the people. I hate the system. I hate what the organization is doing to members. I hate the organization that is destroying families and deceiving people, the system, not the people. So if I, who hate the system, could find this song constantly ringing in my head, so much so that the words keep playing in my head, how much more people who love the organization so I believe that I could be wrong. This is all speculation and I like to make my videos based on facts and not speculation. But there's something queer, there's something about the Watchtower that I believe is worth at least putting on the table for consideration. Could it be that the music is deliberately hypnotic? Could it be that there's something demonic about it? Because the, that's the other thing. I really don't like the music. There's something about it that I don't like. And I'm speaking about the, the instrumental, the accompaniment. There's the, it has this thing that I just don't like. I don't like the song being in my head and it's just so difficult to get out. As I said, so much so that I was reluctant to play that clip and listen to it again for the fear of what happening to me in the past happening to me again and it is quite a struggle getting this thing out of my head and when I speak about hypnotic and satanic after doing that video I'm sorry yes after doing that video someone made a comment that I'm going to be sharing with you. At the end of the trailer video used here, when the family gathers together for a hug, if you look at the shelf on the wall behind you, you'll see a wooden hand showing the sign of the devil's horns. Someone years ago commented in one of my videos that I have 
satanic hand gestures. And I thought, what? I don't know a thing about satanic. Well, let me not say I don't know a thing because I've learned a little since persons have brought some awareness to this problem. But generally, I don't know much about hand gestures and hand, hand signals and demonic hand, demonic hand gestures. I don't know much about that. So any gesture that I'm making that resembles any satanic or cultic or whatever hand gesture would be purely coincidental. So when I watched, when I read this comment, I thought I would Google what that hand signal, what that hand symbol is. And here it is. And here is the scene from the Watchtower video that the viewer referenced. No, I am going to be fair. I could have walked into a store, saw that hand and bought it, not knowing that the gesture was a demonic gesture. So it is possible that it could all be coincidence. People do things, sometimes we do things and we do not know the symbolism behind it. So I am prepared to think that a Jehovah's Witness could have just walked into a store, saw a hand and bought it. But with a religion that is proven to be antichrist at its core, with a religion with a track record of using subliminal, am I pronouncing the words, <laughs> images in their artwork over and over and over again, which I think is something I, I probably intended to say at the beginning that I did not say. Years ago, when people started raising alarm about these images in the Watchtower magazines, Initially, I thought that maybe it is much ado about nothing. Maybe it is all coincidence. Because I've had so many times when I look up in the cloud and I see something, after a while, I didn't see it initially sometimes, but after a while, you see formations in the cloud. It's just random clouds formation that looks like something. So an artist, you know, maybe just drawing some bushes and just does something with a brush and it appears to look like something else. And that was my initial thoughts. But as I started seeing more and more and more of the images, I could not exercise any cognitive dissonance. I had to admit that there is something sinister going on here. There is one particular image that stands out in my mind uh, where they showed a hand of Jesus looking like a skeleton hand, a demonic hand. And I'm thinking, why do they do that? Why do the artists do that? Well, on another video, I think it was Denis who highlighted that where they were speaking about the shepherd and I spoke about how they will not acknowledge Jesus as the good shepherd, changing it to fine, etc. In that video, they showed a picture of a shepherd with a lamb. And I think it was Denise who pointed out that no thumb is that long and that the hand looks weird. This is the image and this is my question. One of the subjects that I did very well with in school was art because I have been given, I've been gifted with the gift of I'm, I'm, a, I'm an artistic person. I can draw well and other things. Art is a strength of mine. And as someone who does a little drawing and a little painting, I have not done any for years, but I have the ability. 
one of the things that I can tell you about artists that I am sure is not breaking news to you is that artists pay attention to detail. There is no way under the heavens that you can be a good artist, a good painter, a good sketch artist if you do not pay attention to detail. As a matter of fact, that is the very essence of drawing. You can't just, if you're, if you're going to draw my head, you can't just draw round. You have to look at the shape of my head and try to replicate that shape if you're going to draw someone that looks like me. I said that to say that every artist knows that the thumb is shorter than the fingers. And every artist knows that it's not just shorter, it is much shorter. So what is it that possesses the watchtower's artist to draw the thumb that long? And someone may ask, so what, Winston? What is the symbolism of a long thumb? I don't know. But I can tell you this much. I would not be surprised if it has some and all of it is speculation, I admit. I admit. But between this song that I can't get out of my head more than 24 hours after doing the video, an experience that I've experienced before so much so that I did not want to do it again, the memory of all these suggestive images in the I can't pronounce subliminal <laughs> so let me use another word these suggestive things that have been done over and over and over and over again when it is not something demonic it is something sexual why are they doing it why are the artists doing it is it something that is just some rogue artist doing? Or is it part of the psyche? Is it a deliberate thing that this organization is doing? If I am using speculation, if I am being too cynical, forgive me. But when you are an organization that has demonstrated that you are satanic, and you have these things coming out, you can't help. You can't avoid having people wondering what on earth is going on. If this is all speculation, forgive me. Let me hear your thoughts. And until the next video, where I'm going to be doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time, from the last annual meeting, I wanted to take on Jeffrey Winder and his talk about how, how the light gets brighter. Do join me for the next video. God willing. The Jehovah's Witness organization will be protested appropriately during National Suicide Prevention Month on September 13th, 2024 at the White House. Please join the protest or help promote it. Log on to the website BeFreeProtest.com. That's BeFreeProtest.com. Our goal is to get Watchtower and other cults like them defunded. Absolutely no one should be shunned for no longer believing in their former religion. This is coercion and a violation of human rights. Join us in raising awareness about this vital protest by sharing it across all your social media platforms. Let your friends, family, and followers know about the harmful actions of the Watchtower and the need to put a stop to their abusive behavior. By sharing the message, you can help bring greater attention to this issue and empower those who have suffered at the hands of this organization. Together, we can stand up for justice and hold Watchtower accountable for their actions. Don't hesitate to share this message and invite others to join on the day of the protest. Log on today to BeFreeProtest.com to learn more and to indicate your intention to attend.
May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.